Welcome back to PJ Chan Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to 3D model this glass perfume bottle with the Rhino 3D software and talk about how to arrange the liquid inside for the rendering purpose. Are you ready? Let's get started. There are a few key things to model this perfume bottle. One is the liquid inside of the bottle. We do need to have a surface for it. And we also need to make sure that we have interior and exterior of the perfume bottle. So that will make your rendering more realistic. That's starting from the scratch. So we are going to starting with the circle and let's go ahead to do whatever the size that you wanted to have on this circle. We are going to rebuild it. Let's rebuild it into 18 points. And then you will see now it's have an 18 control point. I'm going to pick up every other one on those control point. And then I wanted to scale it down to be something like this. All right. Now I really not enjoy to have this super pointed. So I'm going to rebuild again after I bring it down. And I wanted to get it into a lot more points. So double of those points to be 36, for example. So then you have something like this. Then I want to pick up all the outer one, the, the most pointy one on my control point. And I'm going to bring it back one more time. So it's a little bit rounder there. Okay, so once you get this one, we're going to come in into the front view and we're going to draw the profile of it. So let's go ahead to snapping into the endpoint right here and coming into the front view. I wanted to my bottle to look a little bit puffier coming out, coming inside, going up like this and for whatever size that you wanted to have. All right, let me make it into the ghost view so it's a thicker line for you to see. Now to create this bottle, we also wanted to thinking about the bottom of it because you don't want to cap it and it will be just flat. It's going to be ugly. So I'm going to come in over here with this endpoint and I want to come in out to the bottom for something is more like this. All right. With this point right here, I'm going to align with the center by typing zero here. So it's right in the center and let's go ahead to join them. If you do want it, you can rebuild this one if you want to. But uh, at this point, I'm just going to leave it like this. While that is in the curve, I also want to create an interior. So it depends on how thick you want it for the interior. In this case, I'm going to do 2.5 millimeter for my glass thickness. And I do not like the sharp point right there. So again, we want to give it a big fillet. So maybe three millimeter. We're going to have this one and this one. So that's a lot more rounded. If you want to rebuild this one, this is a good time to rebuild. All right. So now we have this. Let's take a look on the perspective. I wanted to create a surface on both of them. This one will need to follow with this curve right here. Interior, I'm just going to mark it into the red color so it will be easier to see once you create a foam. First, let's create an interior that's using revolve command. So in this red line, we simply wanted to snap in into the zero and showing the direction like this for 360 degree. So then we have this red one. Let me mark it into the red color. So this is the interior. For the exterior, we are not going to use a revolve. In fact, we need to use a rail revolve because we do have this shape to deal with. Okay, so let's go ahead to using the surface rail revolve. This is your profile and this is your rail. And we again want to snapping into the zero going in this direction. And then we'll have something like that. Now notice that the interior is coming inside of the body in some is because maybe we have in and out is too dramatic. So if that is the case, I'm going to make the interior a little bit skinnier by coming down a little bit. So that way it won't block it. Or I'm going to make this one just bigger, right? As long as it's, it's not, no round shape is inside of it. And of course we need to moving this guy from 
this endpoint back to this quadrant and we need to move in again on this one to make sure it's aligned with the center. Okay, so now we have this one. Let's give it another try. We are going to do the rail revolve and this is your profile. This is your rail and you are going to start it from the zero and up. So then we'll get this one right here. Okay, so now once you get this one, we wanted to have that twisting look on our outside. So I'm going to use the command for twist. And we're going to snapping into the bottom right here, going up a little bit over the bottle. And I just want to twist in about quarter turn. So then I will get this shape right here. Okay, now we can create uh, things on the top. One easier thing is actually trim everybody a little bit so they will be the, at the same level, something like this. And if you want to cap it, it will be like a straight uh, flat surface. But I would like to do is uh, using the blend command. You blend from here to here. And I would like to make sure they are aligned. And then you will get something like this. You can make sure they have the same height. If not, they will become really bumpy there. And you can lock them and make them not as bump there. So the cap bottle will on the top will sit better there. Okay. Now you have that we want to make inside. What I like to do is just copy control C and control V. So I have two surfaces there. One of the surface depends on how high you want this liquid to have. I'm going to cut it somewhere about here. Using this curve, I'm going to trim it one of the interior. And then for the one that we already trim, I'm just going to send it to other layer. So that way we can um, assign other material. And after that, you can just join everybody together. So now you can see that the little uh, liquid right there. One of the really important things for the rendering, and I want to do something on the side to show you if I have a two surface and one is apparently a little bit lower, and then when you take a look on this, uh, you're going to see a little bit like this irregular surface texture while I'm moving my mouse, right? And that is going to happen exactly the same thing. You're going to see this pattern when you are doing the rendering. So little trick for you is you want to scale it down a little bit. That way you won't see that, you know, a surface moving around on the surface. I don't know if I can explain it correctly, but you don't want to scale it down so much like this. So we just need to scale it down a little bit. So I'm going to hold in my shift and click on this 3D scale and click on it and type it 0 0.99. So it's just like 1% smaller, or you can do like 0.999, like, you know, 0.1%. As long as it's not overlapping, then you won't have that problem. So we are going to do the same thing. I'm going to pick up this red surface and let me cap it first. So it becomes solid. And then I want to do 0.99. So it's a little bit smaller. It's really hard to tell by eyes because you see that tiny gap there, but it will make your rendering look much nicer. All right, the one on the top is quite simple. This perfume bottle is a little bit too short. It's not as elegant as I thought, but that's okay. I'm going to uh, making a circle and I wanted to grid snap right there. So it's like right in the middle. And then with this circle, I'm just going to pick up this one and bring up. So then that will be a teardrop. And the second things I wanted to do is creating the profile like this, 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 and this. All right. And then I'm just going to split this one with the point in between here and here. And did it this one. And the rest of it, let me just go ahead to trim it. Trim and trim. And then giving a little fitted, maybe one. Because it's a glass, you won't have that super sharp um, neck over there. Let's join it. 
All right. So how we're going to turn it into a solid is, again, we're going to using exactly the same command. We've been keep repeating using the same command for this practice. So I hope that will helping you to get really familiar. And then I'm going to use the cap command to close it. So now we have this on the top. You also will like to make a stopper there. So that's using this uh, trunk cone and that's snapping right here and then for whatever size and just bring down this one to fit it in there and this one inside supposed to boiling with this guy right here to be one piece so I'm gonna change into other colors so it's easier for you to see all right so that will be the structure that we send it out for the rendering. I hope you all enjoy this video. If you are new to the CAD and wanted to be jury CAD designer, I have a free webinar for you. This mini course is going to talk about three major things that you need to pay attention before you become a jury CAD designer. It's also going to help you a lot on the production. The link is in the description below. Hope to see you there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.